me ask you, if, if you think through, I mean, I know we're still kind of at the front end of 2022, if, if all of your hopes and all of your dreams and all of your pursuits that you have in your mind, or maybe you wrote them out in a journal, if all of those, if all of those happened in 2022, like whatever they are, whatever, whatever they were, like the books you wanted to read, the workout plans, the diet, the trips you wanted to, like whatever those plans were that you have for 2022, if all of them came to fruition, would your life more faithfully reflect the kingdom? Would our world more, more faithfully display the love and care and embrace and invitation of God's, of God's kingdom? Or if they all came true, would, would you just look like a better version of you? I think that's a bad thing. But it may not be the best thing. Like, like, I think that's what it means when Jesus says, I want you to come and, and, and be with be with me. I want your life to be reordered around my life. I want your, your affections and your desires and your aims to be reoriented around this kingdom that I'm trying to proclaim and display in your presence. Eugene Peterson, he states it this way, to, to be a disciple means that we are a people who spend our lives apprenticed to Jesus. Our lives apprenticed to Jesus. We are in a growing, learning relationship always with God. A disciple is a learner, but not in the academic schoolroom sense of the word, but rather in a work site form of apprenticeship, like a craftsman. We don't acquire information about God, but skills in faith. To be a follower of Jesus is to be a disciple, a learner, and an apprentice, not simply a consumer of wise sayings or even just a beneficiary of Christ's redemptive work. 